our generation upon generation will see KTI, will recognize KTI. We will get a lot of pillars in KTI.
And the young financial was executive in two thousand minutes. Now, you are Jima, also, you are a super metro, also, you are a mile, to a buy a domina, a betty. Enterprise, Senior Ahmed Party, also, a year mark. Principal, the principal number one, number one. 
Mr. Mijina, hey, may you deserve a heavy duty. Now, the younger son of Mauli, a great Peter. But that I do be out from me, I brought the big mouth. May you angel of them, I do politics on Wood TV. May a national PR of the man movie producers in Ghana, a national welfare officer. Who drew the choir municipal, all the gold dealers are women and the secretary. My little gold for the past 16 years. In it. Yeah! Maybe one of my own? Get your beer was cold. What a wind you drive. Eddie, I wish you a mere, many people in me, and doesn't have any to get your arms here. And I'm a mere to get your own media for all these years. And I think, said the Emma Mikhail, the Yin Yaya. Next year, I want to go back to school because medical card was a minister. minister, Medi, but who did ya? You didn't know. Many politicians been in the book of society, and the Baba Bayer. Oh, who me? Who is serious? Who can't guess who can you follow? Let's go to the car. If I talk to them, ten thousand. That my course will next year.
We also want to support each and every one when the needs arise. We have home problems. We have school problems. We have work problems. We have health problems. So whenever the needs arise, the All Students Association is ready to assist. If only you make us aware of it. And also, we are to connect unemployed members among us to available job vacancies. There are a lot of works that need to be done here. It's part of our, of our vision. We want to do a lot for this school because KTI has been the backbone. If I can say, not KTI alone, technical school has been the backbone of the nation building. And KTI, we are all aware that it is the only technical school that I can boast of. And you also can boast of KTI. Because when you check, there's no industry that KTI students is not there. Apart from where? Apart from where? Apart, you said something. Apart from where? <laughs> they don't want to mention that place. So our vision and our mission is just to help ourselves and also help build the school. Thank you very much. But, me, 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 me,
na wa tire odi ye be fa re yesu ha wa tire odi na ma bo odi we are putting the sofans no o yire o yire hu a se ne re o cause mo se me ka fa odi no e je blo pri na me pacho ha o ji a na o bi ase na wa tire odi ni ate so opinia ye to so ba ko so de fre no eh mr daniel amo or the deputy regional director Ghana Tibet Service Asante Region or a Deputy Director. Now, yeah, yeah, Papa, Reverend, I will have him see. It's in the before my principal, because I'm going to be changing it, you know. The member, Reverend, and break a creepy. Now, I'm going to cry. Or walk off, Katie, and also, I'm going to be saying, you know, Reverend, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to call, yeah, Papa, Mr. Daniel, so, Reverend. That's it. I do four. Oh, 
Yeah, she had 83. She had she achieved one kaka. She started in 1990. She made 83. Yeah. Now we say, now speech is any profile now key. I say from far far. It's far far far. But I say, she brought for you. Yeah, I So, distinguished invited guest, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Principal, distinguished old students and current students, all protocol observed. I'm humbly honored to be here and to be part of this program. I wanted to be part of this program with a topic that is Kumasi uh, Technical Institute supporting the school to develop. Mr. Chairman, to strengthen the old students association to develop KTI is a noble agenda to be set. And I believe we will all collaborate with the old students to achieve this noble agenda. Technical and vocational education and training system is a vital tool in skills acquisition, knowledge for employment, and creating a sustainable livelihood in the socioeconomic development of Ghana. Pre-Tertiary Education Act 1049, 2020, established Ghana TVS service. With a mandate of overseeing, managing, and implementing the approved standards and policies regarding pre-Tertiary TVS education. With the Act, all TVS institutions, hitherto fragmented, is now aligned under one umbrella called Ghana TVS service under Ministry of Ministry of Education. We did say in nine we said can in a school say what Ghana education I say technical schools on the year forty seven pay. No don't know our different ministries. Nana Ama Abai and need to be called technical education we call schools in the brain and yama and yet our hope. KTI make us say na yara but oko school ni bia na enema enye we ma aban aye hihye se school ni nyina emra gana minister of education na empo bi se kti ne ada big schools and the minister of gs no yen pamra gana tv service se ne be ya with the common purpose and common objective you bet me a Liverpool Tibet education. Uh, Mr. Principal, now may you not give you But I have seen a way. Okay. Yeah, your time, your prepper, you never do that. Reverend Sylvia, um, 1782. If you are bad, you know, not. Who we now pursue co invest here? They are now a man for four per technical school. Who we now pursue co invest here? Now open. Those days, now you have four subjects, said in there, you have only a may, a year. And two we are, a person of Cornwall brain. Yes, say, take care of 14 years, and send it to my co invest. May come it low. After school. After school. We start for MBTI grade 2, grade 1, GCC, uh, CTC 1, CTC 2, and all, and two or more. This is our China, or is our server. Go to your diploma. And sign a degree, a year, a year, degree, a degree, everything. So, you are lucky. You are lucky. Reverend, what's your carpentry? I'm going to be a carpentry. And you did a degree. You did a degree, but me did this a real fee. Ah, me that's it. So, um, Tibet education for some of us is the way 
to go. Ghana TV service with its motto, transforming Ghana through skills, is poised to take up its rightful place and advancement in the development of our country through commercialization of the various skills training. The program, this program could not have taken place at a better time than this as government and other stakeholders are currently projecting and promoting the relevance of Tibet education in Ghana and to minimize, if not completely eradicate, the notion that technical and vocational education is a lesser cause as compared to other areas of education system. Yeah, 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 for technical. And before we say any new money, now so, Let's ask ourselves. Yet I see one year, Mr. C. A. One more, I must say, one more professors, and one more car say, Yeah, you are not able to do anything about it. One more about your workshop. This woman and one year, I want to say, One more condition say, Yeah, they depend on us. Everything in this room is Tibet. The building, the structure itself, our clothing. The chest, the floor, everything is Tibet. All the other things are grammarians, and so we don't know what can be done. And we see, we see, we see, we see. But I don't know. And tell me, and I'm a what? Exactly. So be proud of yourself as a Tibet student, or what my madam would say, Tibetan. The uh, Ghana Tibet Service is currently collaborating with Commission for Tibet. Now, let me explain this. We have Ghana Tibet Service and Commission for Tibet. Ghana Tibet Service is the implementers of technical vocational education programs in Ghana. Commission for Tibet, which is CTVET, is also um, the regulator. They formulate policies and regulate. And then Tibet service will implement all these policies. And these two agencies are collaborating to ensure that the country realizes the full benefits of Tibet education. The agency has, has been championing the, the implementation of competency-based training, that is CBT. CBT emphasizes skill and knowledge required for a particular job or trade. One very key feature is that the student is assessed at their own pace and training is focused on imparting rare skills and knowledge as opposed to the current examination system. That is now barely worth the paper it is written on. In now, if our traditional TVT, we are three years, two years, now our cultural exam, we now one refer. We have a certificate. A bit so not practical, so yeah, dear pa. Now, say, say, Mr. Principal, I believe you have started a CBT program here. You are, you are piloting it. CBT will ensure that the trainee learns at his or her own pace. We have slow learners. We go hard. And then we train the board, we show our work. Now, we can. We be so hard. This is what you know what say. Now, what you know what say. A gentle in the same, a gentle in the same, and sana one son. And the only one answer on ten of one silver. Now, do you can hear me as all dear for Nadia? And then I see BT, the other said, I was said, Your ma will be a shia dear, a war, now who are you, and the senior will give me a team. And the CBT, the Indian I have it now started there, will be very rich now, will be very in Aditia, will be very now change a cheek. And the CBT, no, ever ma.
Tibet education. Again, the government, in an attempt to improve Tibet education in Ghana, within the last three years, upgraded five technical universities with new workshops and equipment. First, now call Bedford B. I Bedford this is why I 25 years. I don't want on the practicals. Meanwhile, cars are now about the Yusu carburetor beam, Yusu injectors, and the new Yusu control board. It's partially computerized. And so called it, Bedford. I'm going to crack up here, Martin Tin TV now. Now things have changed. So when you go to these institutions, there, there are new.
and is also expected to equip trainees with a variety of knowledge, skills, and attitudes that are indispensable in having a meaningful involvement in work and life. In conclusion, TVET is the sure way of providing young people with employable skills, livelihood enhancement, and wealth creation for the betterment and development of our dear nation, Ghana. I say congratulations to the Old Students Association, especially with their agenda of coming together to develop their armor meter. I thank you all. Long live TVET, long live PTI, and long live Ghana. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's about links. Hey, links, hey, links. Your principal said, only links now. You've been to the school, you man, 20 years. And you see, she. But what's your papa don't come on one? Or so, I'm not going to say, you say, you're lacking in the bee. Or you're, you're saying, you're a deputy regional, and you're branch, and you're district. It's only you who can say, no principal links now. Yes, I hope one say on two super good. No infrastructures yet. No one like that. No man. No factors for them. No one. 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 Principal Mabe Kassa. It's the CAE. No one. 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 Be a movie student in Timonarma, may a future Kakra.
said, Man, yeah, my rebel. Yet me a old student here, or Cosen and Juan Confu. One could be a beer, say KTI, around here, and a sharp one, or they can be rich. Or you're old student, but all sharp one, and Tia Minian is a hospital, her baby. One could be a beer, or can be rich, I say, Obi Wukrana, or Mutobe, or whatever. Now, dear man, a bassa, who could be a human sem, and no tea, and young priest, I was here, but together. So, over KTI, we have a support of Mango, yes, and it is a couple of education here.
Special donation of a Where But principal, any ever be school with all due respect, with all due respect, now, your first and what you say, former, our principal. Your first and what you say, our principal. Principal of Kumasi Technical Institute. Maybe I'm the friend of Dallas. Thank you, Thank you. But for the sake of time, I will read the message in English so that Mr. Chairman, Acting Regional Director, Ghana TV Service, if the rep is here, the non reps who are here, the Deputy Director, Ghana TV Service, Ashanti Region. Vice Principal Academic of the Noble Institution, Massey Technical Institute. The oldest and the first female Canadian train. Yes. Yeah. 
Let me also say that alumni homecoming that we have seen today is one of the gathering of many familiar faces that creates a special relationship between all those who have already passed through the institution and have already established themselves in the world of work. In fact, it is also the period when we recollect the past memories, the challenges, the goals and aspirations of the school that made us who we are. Yes, it is definitely an event where all persons that go through a particular school meet so that they think of what they can also do for their alma mater. And for that matter, I say this meeting, even though we did not get what we expected to see, but with the little few, we can make KTI shine. Alumni homecoming, Mr. Chairman, is one of the numerous attempts that help us to unite. We have various year groups starting from 1976 till 2022. We have had various batches with various groups. But the alumni is the amalgamation of all these year groups. We think of 1977 year group, 1978, 1980, Reverend Joseph, 1982 year group. Let me chip in here and say I'm also 1989 year group. 1989 year group. I also did Autobacker Engineering and a pure technical man, as Deputy Director said. He struggled so hard to come up to this farm. But our struggle was not in vain. We have achieved. So the students here, please, let your mindset be you. If you do so, you can achieve. In fact, it has not been easy to come together since 1976 as this. And for that matter, Mr. Chairman, let me take this opportunity to congratulate the organizers of this program. It has not been easy for them, but they have stood firm and as a result, this program has been successful. The organizers, bravo. It is my hope that going forward, you will continue to make this kind of successful activity an annual ritual because this is going to serve as the foundation of unity for all who benefited from the School of Excellence, KTI, from its inception till now. Not only to the alumni, but also to the current batches in school, that is the new generation who are yet to come as well. Mr. Chairman, our distinguished guest, on behalf of the management and administration of the school, I welcome all of you to this second homecoming of Kumasi Technical Institute. <laughs> Having welcomed you, Mr. Chairman, I want to claim your indulgence to give a brief background of the Kumasi Technical 
Africa Institute, the institute that has made us who we are, and for that matter, today we have gathered here. The current state of affairs. As a form of background, KTI is the largest Tibet Institute in the whole country. There is no Tibet Institute in Ghana that can run a number of programs more than KTI do. We run 20 trade-based programs here. And as you can see, through the effort of Canadian and the Ghana government, KTI is having an enviable state of art facilities that made skills training a reality. If you go around the school, you could testify to that fact. KTI has since its inception trained thousands of master craftsmen who are currently scattered all around, both locally and internationally, contributing immensely to the economy. And I'm sure, as Reverend said, started, started as a carpentry and John, now a Reverend Minister. And so, Tibet education gives us the skills, not that alone, but the mind also we use it so much. Let me quickly take you through the administration of the school from its inception in 1976. Since the school was established, there have been nine heads of institutions, principals, who have passed through this institution. The first ever principal, Mr. Ibi Kumaminta, he did his best. May his soul rest in peace. He did his best. And as of today, everybody mentions Kumaminta because of the legacy that he left. Followed by Mrs. Edna Adua Fodjo, the first female principal of KTI. Mr. Asamoa Dudu. Mr. Joe Mensa Ishan. Reverend G.K. Mensa. Dr. Yusuf Abiguatri. Mrs. Elizabeth Ando Mensa, and the immediate past, Mr. Minta Bieni, and I'm the ninth principal, Gabriel Kinsford Osei. <laughs> All these principals that I've mentioned came and they have done their part. It is now my turn. I assume office in December 2022 with a vision to provide an enabling environment that will promote quality and holistic Tibet education for students who have gotten the opportunity to learn trade in KTI. But this vision, I alone cannot make it reality. I need each and every one here, your support. Without your support, we cannot realize that vision. And we can realize the vision if all stakeholders come on board. Once the environment is created and is enabled, you are at liberty to come at any time to support the school. And so to achieve this vision, the strategies put in place include the following. There should be a major shift in human resource management and development such that KTI will always source for 
the best school person as a facilitator or a teacher. There is a need to monitor the progress of activities that goes on in the school, especially academic activities. Supervision and monitoring should be intensified. There is the need to raise funds in the school and ensure that we adopt prudent financial management in the schools. In fact, looking around, we have so many workshops that we can use productively to generate funds to help the school. And if the funds come, how we will go and manage the funds is a very important thing that we can look at. There is always the need to keep in touch with the data management system because with the current age, if you don't have data, then you are doomed. And for that matter, the country is moving digitally. We also have to move in that same direction. And for that matter, we need to manage our data well. We cannot do without the stakeholders like you sitting here today, the old students. And the last of it is to strategically include all categories of people. Those who have a little challenge, they are also capable of going through skills training and achieve. So we cannot go without them. What we call the inclusive education. All this could be possible if we can have an effective counseling and guidance team. Because in career training, there is the need for us to have what we call career guidance team. And so, with the support of you, the old students, we are saying that when you go from here today, come back to KTI and support us to establish a well formidable career guidance team that can help the students so that after they are training in here, they can be productive wherever they are. In terms of academics, Apart from the 20 trade area based program that we run, the school is also seeking to add new programs that will meet the current trend of education. Programs such as mechatronic engineering, programs that will help increase the participation of female hospitality and catering management and the kind. But we cannot do all this with the same infrastructure that we have as it has already said. With the infrastructure that we have, it is a big challenge. This year alone, 21,000 students solicited to come to KTI, but we were able to enroll only 1,380 because of the pressure on our infrastructure. As part of the Tibet restructuring, our academy has moved up a bit and we have included what we call WEB, Workplace Experience Learning, to add up, to make the competency-based training very reality to the industry. By this work, the student, after what we train,
training we give them here also goes to the industries during their break to experience exactly what goes on in the industry. They learn the culture of the industry, they affiliate themselves with the management, and they get to know exactly what the traditions and norms in that industry is. As we speak, some of our biodigester and biodigester students are in Cape Coast on this world program and is going on well. Come back to the classroom that we have. KTI, as I speak with you, is having 47 classrooms available. KTI is also having two dormitory blocks for the boys and one dormitory block for the girls. In fact, the rooms in the dormitory blocks for the boys put together is 54 and for the girls is 8. Um, 46 for the boys and eight for the girls adding up to 54. The room as we see is the room that was built for 10 people but now about 30 people are using that same facility. This has posed a very big challenge into the facilities that we have here. If you want to talk about the population, the school currently is having a staff population of about 270, 270 staff, with a student population of about 4,300. When the school was started, Reverend just mentioned it. It was started with 240 students. But now, we are having 4,300 students using the same facility. So you can think about the pressure on the facility here. So it is worth saying that KTI as an institute is facing a major infrastructure challenge. And it takes you and I to help KTI live out of this pro pro challenge. In fact, the government is doing its best. The government gave KTI projects. But the following are some of the projects that the government is doing. But due to the economic crunch, it has been stalled. Currently, we have two Stony Boys dormitory which has been installed over there. And it is at the floor level. We have a two-story girls' dormitory block that is also being um, built down there. An 18-unit classroom block sponsored by Get Fund is also there. A six-seater toilet facility. All these projects have been solved due to the economic situation of the country. KTI, as we see now with the 4,300 and over students, is having this as the major challenge. And for that matter, we need your support so that we can reach wherever we are heading towards. KTI is currently running a double track system. A system where throughout the whole year students are in school such that at any particular time a level is out of school, whilst others will be in school. And it's 
creating a lot of problems for both the staff and the students. It is my wish that by 2025 academic year, KTI will exit the double track system so that all students can be in school at the same time. But if this can be a reality, then we need your support. So I've outlined some few challenges here that we can think of the support that we can give to the school so that by 2025 we can change from the double track to a single track. Currently, the school is not having a studio for architectural drafting program. There is no workshop for fashion design technology and agricultural mechanization program. The school, looking at the growing population, needs a medical post because a school that is having 4,000 and over student population is a whole community, and for that matter, there is the need for a medical post in the school. Working around the school, you see that the road network is not in good shape, and so there is the need for us to improve it by asphalting all the road network in the compound. Considering the wash facility that we have in the compound here and the growing population, there is a need to have a two number 20 seater wash facility that can support the school. In terms of classroom block, if each classroom is taking maybe 40 students. When it started, it was considered to be 20, 20, 20. But now, we are dealing with 40 students, which is against the current trend of um, education, the CBT approach. The CBT, the maximum class size should be 25. It shouldn't be more than 20. The maximum, that is over stretched class size should be 20. But currently, we are having 40. And if we are having 47 classrooms and you multiply by 40, you could see that the school is really suffering from getting the classroom block. And for that matter, all our workshops are being used as classrooms. So the school needs a two-story, 20, uh, a two-unit, a two 18 unit classroom blocks that will give us 36 classrooms to support. Considering the staff population of 270 and over, the flat that can accommodate only nine of staff and four bungalows is woefully inadequate. So there's a need for staff apartment in the school. There is also the need, since the school cannot take all as borders, there's the need for us to have a hostel in the campus so that the day student may not go and stay outside but can also stay in the campus. There is the need to finish our computer lab. There is also the need to extend our um, street lighting in the compound. One major problem that we have academically is the inadequate training material. You cannot train the students without training material. And so the school needs consumables, those materials that we can use to train 
our students. The common room in the school can take only 20 staff at a time. Let me put all together. I look at the staff strength now, over 270. So there is a need for a common room, a befitting one. There is also the need for staff who will support the activities that we call the non-teaching staff, especially the security staff and the conservancy deliveries. Taking the rooms that, that is the dormitory block into consideration, a room that was designed for 10 students, if it's taking 30 students, look at what will happen. Overcrowding. The beds in the room are so much crowded, such that students find it difficult to move around. So there is a need for a dormitory block. And for that matter, we may need about 20 room dormitory block. That would be either a two story or a three story. Insufficient water facility here in the compound because, because of the increased number of student population. There is always pressure on the water point. And so students sometimes come to classes late. There are many and they all struggle to use the same storage pipe. And for that matter, we need to increase the storage facility that we have for both the kitchen and the dormitory. In fact, one of the problems that is killing us is about a huge deposit of refuse and compound here. Those of us who were on the field yesterday who testified to that fact. Looking at the increased number, we generate a lot of refuse and where we dump this refuse has become a problem. So, with all these challenges, if we can do something about it, then it takes all stakeholders to put their hands so I plead with you, the old students and the alumni, that having all these as a major challenge and need, we turn to Macedonia and then come and help KTI. It is my pledge that with the few years ahead, KTI will reach the highest height that we all envisage to see. May God bless us all as we prepare to help Kumase Technical Institute to achieve its utmost Long live Kumasi Technical Institute. Long live Alumni. Long live Ghana. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. Honorable. In some of the papa, he is a kind of lofu. Now, I mean, you are born a tougher. The year came, and I said, Katie and school, no. It is 47 years. And the principal, me, I always say, Obayano, ni pedi fu a bedi ni ni mno, omo bomo omo di yedi. Na bedi yedi uno, bafu na kama church ni mno, bedi yedi uno, ebru mi no wosu, se yesu ya bedi atu wosu. Wa kachwe nse, dome chisi wa ha, diensi afa mema tena, chisi afa bedi tete tete.
Eti Edu me ni oso se ya so e be bi ni e di atoso Principal ni se mo ke ni na se e ku ye ya ti ye ma emu en se ke na emu ni de na e jire ni ti no no se we di se ke ti ai no o do be ku ni ya ma e ye mo se bi ma no se ya ba so wo di ni se from staff Samuel Mensa Apple. 
your fundraising career now your deputy director or so you made the beer yeah in Sunday Thursday or Sako to your career so reverend now we see the parts of the man near your son of car now for the account you're the attorney or so you're really better group picture yeah every year we are the best year they are talking to the seven train I can tell you to chill and you please know don't forget sir event you know hey cause you remember